in your book is something remarkable. If you ever bought a book in your life, you probably know it. Just open it and see the beautifully printed pages, the smooth paper, and you just smell it. And you know there are adventures ahead. And yet, when I travel in Warsaw, in the public transportation, and I'm on the tram which is pretty crowded, and it's shaking, and I'm trying to read something, and I, the book is in my face, and in this position, I want to actually change the page. I wish for something better. I wish for something that's lighter, and something that will not take two weeks to ship to me from the United States. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this world is going away to be replaced by this world, the world of electronic books, or short, as the title says, e-books. And I would like now to give you a short survival guide to the new world, so that you know what to choose, how to choose, and when to choose to go into it. There are three things you need to know about e-books, three areas that I will need to describe. One is the readers, you saw some already. Second is the file formats, they're computers after all, so they read files. And third is DRM, digital rights management. Starting with devices. I heard, or I read a statistic that most people still read books, electronic books on their PCs, laptops. I'm sure you can do this, you can be sitting, lying in your bed, reading something. But if you ever tried that, you probably know it's not very convenient. So let's just skip that part. Your second option for reading them is tablets. This is Apple's tablet, you can have any different ones. They're beautiful. They have all the colors. They're shiny. And they're great for books with illustrations, with plenty of colors, with plenty of multimedia. Battery will last around eight hours. That's not too short, it's not too long. And you will probably have trouble reading this in direct sunlight just because it has a glare and not much contrast. And your third option is dedicated readers. This is Amazon's Kindle. And the screen here is not the screen that you would see in a normal computer. It's electronic paper, actually. It doesn't shine, doesn't emit any light. Thanks to that, and thanks to that te technology, it's super crisp. You can read it in direct sunlight, and the battery will last for around a month or two, depending on how regularly you use it. The downside, it only comes in black and white, actually grayscale, to be exact. They are working on a colorful version, but it's not there yet, and will not be there yet for another couple of years. So baseline is, this is my recommendation for you. If you want to really dive and have the best experience of electronic books, you take a dedicated reader, unless you want color and you want multimedia, then it's this for you. Area number two is file formats. And there is obviously a huge, huge variety of file formats and things you can read on those readers and things. But there are three that matter. One of them you know already you're familiar with, that's PDF. The materials you receive from Toastmasters, the electronic ones, they're in PDF, so you know how to read them. The problem with those is that the PDF is meant to represent a normal printed page. So if you have an A4 page, which is this big slightly, and you squeeze it into this screen, it's not very readable. So we need to enlarge it, zoom in, zoom out, scroll things and stuff. It's not very convenient. It's just not meant for this type of reading. So it's better to go for a dedicated format. Unless you really, really have to work with PDFs, you have no other choice. And there are two dedicated formats that really matter. I'll write them down for you so that you know the names. Mobi, and OBI, And EPUB. I'm not writing there for you to understand them or anything else, just to be familiar. If you see any of those, it's an ebook format. And it doesn't really matter which one you choose. For your understanding, for your purpose, they're the same, really. All that matters is that certain readers read certain ones of those, the other readers, they read different ones. The Kindle, they read Mobis. The iPad, they read EPUBs. But the upside is, you can very easily convert them, because they're almost the same. So if you have a geek friend, you ask them, how do you convert? I have this one, the other one. You just ask, they'll help you. So generally, it is go for a dedicated format and skip PDFs unless you really can't access any of those. And area number three is digital rights management, DRM. And when someone speaks about digital rights management, they don't speak about your rights, not your rights, not your rights, not your rights. They don't even speak about the author's rights. They speak about the publisher's rights. 
and the publisher wants you to buy a book, and they want you to buy a book, and they want you to buy a book as well. And then they want you to share your book with your spouse and your friends. They should buy their own books. They want more money, obviously. Because if you share that, it will be stealing. And if you find that wrong, if you feel that it's wrong, then it is really. And what you can do, what you should do, is just not pay for it. You have the money. You vote with your money. So you go to the publishers, go to the bookstores, and tell them, I will not pay for that. And that's the ideal version. <coughs> Unfortunately, Amazon, as it is, these guys, they own 70% of the ebook market. And if you own a Kindle, then it just makes sense to use Amazon services and buy books from them. And they have DRM. The Here's the good thing. You can strip it. You can remove the DRM. The same geek friend that will help you convert your books will tell you that it's just as easy, just as easy to remove the DRM from those books and those limitations. And it's legal, at least in Poland, <coughs> because you paid for them, because it's your property. And if you want to sell it to someone else, just like you would with a paper book, you can, and you should be able to. So strip those. But generally, if you do have an option ever, just don't pay, pay for it. So to rehash, three types of readers, PCs, dedicated tablets, go for the dedicated ones, unless you really want color and media. File formats, go for the dedicated ones, unless you can't get anything else in the PDFs, <coughs> and all the other formats basically don't matter, whatever else you find. And DRM, just say no. And if you do have to say yes, then don't play by their rules. Play by your rules. Play by consumer rules. And I wish you a very pleasant journey. <laughs>